I've been playing sports my whole life, and for us to be able to play on a collegiate level is like a dream come true for every player on our team. Title IX is just, I think it's awesome because it gives us the chance to play at a collegiate level and like be able to show what we have. Growing up, I, was just able, I knew that I was able to play in college for a sport that I loved and wasn't just wasting my time. I was able, always able to like get better um, practicing and you know, being able to compete competitively and just being seen equal. I, mean, I feel like if Title IX wasn't around, maybe like, I mean, I know we have club soccer here, but maybe that wouldn't even be around as well. So it's nice to get things just like the guys and be treated just like the guys, like no discrimination against us. For me, it's not strange that women's sports is such a big thing. It's um, all over our campus, but uh, 40 years ago, that wasn't the case, and it's just been an awesome opportunity that this is part of my everyday life. God has a plan for me and so many other female athletes that have allowed us to get an education, play sports in college, and to make an impact on whatever campus we're on. It's very important to us. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we probably wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here in my job if it weren't Title IX because there wouldn't be women's soccer at Campbell and, and, and a lot of other schools. There wouldn't be women's soccer, you know, being a premier sport in Division I. I think it continues to, uh, to drive things in, in very good ways uh, for not only the women here, but women everywhere. I certainly uh, am appreciative of the efforts that now 40 years ago were taken to push women's athletics. Funding, opportunities, uh, you know, I mean, when I, when I played in college, uh, there just weren't that many, um, you know, Division One opportunities available. A lot of, you know, it seemed like a lot of Division Three opportunities available for women, um, but not many Division One. And, and you saw some unbelievable players playing at the Division Three level back then. And you know, as time has progressed, you know, like when I started here at Radford, I think there were about 125 Division One women's soccer teams, and now there's over 325 uh, Division One women's soccer teams. So there's so much more opportunity. Title IX for me means opportunity in education for both both men and women. There was uh, 40 years ago not a lot of opportunity for women in higher education. For example, University of Virginia. I don't think women were even allowed there uh, 40 years ago. So there's been incredible and tremendous change in opportunity in education. What Title IX has meant to me is uh, it, it, it's, it's been a career. Um, it's allowed me to, to coach in a sport that I love, uh, make a lot of relationships with you know, young women that have lasted a lifetime. So it, it's afforded me a, a career um, and, and an opportunity to do something in life that I've loved. Title IX means the equal opportunity for everyone to be involved in athletics and their, their dreams and aspirations. Uh, it teaches the, these young women how to work with each other. It gives them great leadership qualities that maybe they weren't able to get before Title IX existed. Uh, so it's been a tremendous opportunity to see young players be able to achieve their goals and ambitions and be able to use sports as a mechanism to increase their leadership qualities throughout life. Title IX has meant a lot to me just for all the opportunities that it has opened up to young women and it has brought about a lot of equality amongst men and women and I think that it has allowed girls of all ages to really believe in their abilities not only as an athlete but as an individual and what they can accomplish and I know for me I'm especially grateful because without this law I would not be here at PC playing soccer. Title IX has uh, provided me an opportunity to do something I'm very passionate about and uh, being able to do that at my alma mater. I played men's soccer here. We didn't even have a women's soccer team during my time here. So right after graduation, wanting to stay in the sport, I was able to do so because they created the women's soccer team here in uh, 1994. I was fortunate enough to be the first coach they hired, have, have been able to hang around for the last 19 years and, and look forward to the uh, next 19. Also, on a personal and family level, my daughter is a sophomore on the team here, so it, it's pretty neat how it's come full circle, and not only do I have the opportunity to coach, but my daughter has the opportunity to play at the uh, NCAA level, and all that is made possible by Title IX and a lot of the uh, pioneers who put the hard work in well before our time came around. Having women to look up to who faced hardships in their athletic careers definitely inspired me because I saw how hard they had to work for something and at the time I don't think I realized how easy I had it uh, because I always did have opportunities to play sports but I think that having them to look up to 
definitely made me appreciate sports more and you know, sports have always been a part of my life and I think girls today are very fortunate to have that because you do learn so much more about yourself and about other people when you play sports with others.